All right. Switching gears here, we'll talk about the weather. Of course, a beautiful day outside. Yes. We saw a ton of sunshine, just stunning, stunning weather. It was a little cool, but actually seasonably warm for this time of year. We made it into the mid 40s. Right now, we're checking in around 42 degrees. Uh, at the Inner Harbor, it's 39 in Glen Burnie, 36 in Middle River, mid 30s in Kingsville, and it's right around 33 degrees in Cockeysville. So the temperatures are dropping, and that's all thanks to this. I'm showing you the winds because there's really not much in the way of wind. And with a little wind and mainly clear skies that's allowing the temperatures drop as the heat during the day escapes from the surface of the earth and makes its way off into space. The good news for you 60s are going to be returning to the forecast and not just for one day but a few days and Meg will show you that in the seven day forecast but we'll slowly climb as we head into the weekend and then by Monday it is certainly not going to feel like February, that's for sure. Quiet weather pattern in place, all thanks to this area of high pressure. We stay relatively quiet even as we head through the remainder of the work week. We'll be monitoring that area of low pressure as it moves along the coast. Meg will talk a little bit more about that for us, so we'll send it over to her for the details. Meg. Yes, thank you so much. So temperatures tonight, we're going to be dipping down into the mid 20s for Baltimore, 23 Westminster, some of us in the low 20s. So it is going to be a chilly night. We know a chilly night also means a cold start to the day tomorrow, so make sure you're bundled up before you head out. And temperature is not making a whole lot of progress throughout the day, so we're really going to top out in the upper 30s. Some of us are going to touch 40 degrees, but again, that will be few and far between. Now, let's talk about what's up for the weekend. So we have this coastal low here bringing a decent amount of clouds and then also some rain. Then as we look off to the west here, we have this lovely trough that we're going to be dealing with. That could mean some rain Saturday night. And then during the second half of the weekend, in the wake of that, we're going to see the winds pick up. So it is going to be a gusty, it looks like, second half of the weekend. Now, our seven-day forecast here. So there's that high 40 tomorrow. We're talking mid-40s by Friday. So we're back to the mid-40s. We stay that way generally by the weekend. Sunday here, kind of the transition day, because by Monday, temperatures are in the 60s. So low 60s as we start off next week. 60 there and then even 61 by Tuesday. So some very mild air on the way. We have that 